All right, we've got another example. We've been working with inverse trig functions today. This is combines a couple ideas. So we've got compositions. So now we're going to do the same thing we just did in those previous examples, except our answer is going to have x's in it. So we just call these algebraic expressions. So it's really not any different. You just have x's in your answer. So let's go ahead and set this up. Here's a couple of examples. So cosecant of arc tangent of 2x. Just like we started those previous examples, let's draw a triangle here to represent what they've given us. Now instead of using x, I'll go to use, use a theta here. Arc tangent of 2x. So that means tangent theta equals 2x, right? So if I set that up, 2x over 1, I could write. Well then what would this side be? Well if we use Pythagorean theorem, it would be this side squared plus this side squared square root of that. And so this side of my triangle would be 1 plus 4x squared. Now if I want the cosecant of that, remember cosecant is a reciprocal of sine. No two cos go together. So sine would be 2x over this. So I'm just going to flip it. And so it's going to be the square root of 1 plus 4x squared all over 2x. And that would be my algebraic expression. It's kind of messy looking, I know, but that's what they want us to find. How about this next one? Okay, maybe even pause the video and try it if you haven't already. Similar thing, right? So let's set up a triangle that shows what they've given us. Arc cosine is 3x, or, or arc cosine of 3x. So basically cosine theta equals 3x. So we're going to do 3x over 1. And then what would this side be? It would be 1 minus that squared, square root of that. So we've got 1 minus 9x squared. Because this squared would be 9x squared, right? And so now we want the cotangent of theta. Of course, the tangent is opposite over adjacent, so we just flip it. So it's 3x over the square root of 1 minus 9x squared. Again, don't be intimidated by these. It's the exact same thing we just did. The only difference when you use Pythagorean theorem, you're going to have some x's in there. You've got to find some expressions. But then you just use Sokotoa, identical to what we just did.